The results are in, and Joe Biden will become the next president of the United States. Wake Up Charlotte's Tracy Potts joins us now from uh, D.C. And Tracy, the president-elect hitting the ground running today, already putting together his coronavirus task force. Hi, Ben. Good morning, everyone. The Biden transition is off and running on day one. We already got a rundown of the president-elect's schedule for the day. He will focus heavily on coronavirus, while President Trump focuses on challenging the election results. The Biden transition starts with a coronavirus briefing this morning. He'll be making announcements to the American people about how he's going to make good on these campaign promises. President-elect Biden naming new members of his coronavirus task force, making remarks on the virus and the economy, working on a plan to begin January 20th. That plan will be built on bedrock science. It will be constructed out of compassion, empathy, and concern. Meantime, the Trump campaign is promising a new round of lawsuits today, challenging election results. In Nevada, they claim dead people voted and machines could not verify signatures. We pointed out that the voter rolls in Clark County had a lot of improper voters. And we pointed out that the signature verification process and these things we're simply not going to protect the system. President Trump tweeting, since when does the lamestream media call who our next president will be? Certified results could take weeks. Candidates have the ability to request a recount after the election. Uh, we are preparing for that. Some Republicans are warning the president to tone down his language. When you say that the election was corrupt or stolen or rigged, uh, that that's unfortunately rhetoric, rhetoric that gets picked up by authoritarians around the world. Republicans pressing the president to back up his allegations. Show us, because if George. you can't show us, we can't do this. Uh, we can't back you blindly without evidence. So far, there's not much. And the Trump campaign is asking supporters to help pay for these lawsuits. They've set up the Election Defense Task Force to raise money for that. In Washington, I'm Tracy Potts for Wake Up Charlotte.